Hi everybody, it's Peter Zellum's Green Flicks Adventure 8 and welcome to another video. Today I am recording with the Leica Q2 Reporter, but I have a detached monitor. It's called an iPhone. Here it is there. <laughs> so I'm just using Photos, the app, to control the camera and that way I can also control the focus. slightly out of focus then I can adjust it if I want to focus on something else like the background over here then I can focus over there and if I want to come back to me then I can just focus onto me just using the iPhone so I've got um, it's a major feature I think uh, to have an application that control your video camera and not worry uh, and have that remote monitor I think it's a good idea one thing I did notice was that um, I mucked about with the different options as far as manual focus versus automatic focus. As soon as you connect to photos, the default is automatic focus. And it seems to be automatic focus single, so that you have to use your screen on your monitor, on the iPhone in this case here, to either change my focus to the background or change the focus to the foreground and it won't focus automatically so if I sort of move out of the frame a little bit it just sits there unless I tap the screen and then refocus on me all right so that's uh, the peculiarity of using photos but at least the monitor works and then if I am demonstrating like a, a new product or something like that, I might bring the product here <laughs> and then I can sort of focus on it. Uh, talk about the product, in this case here, the GoPro 10, before it comes back to me if I want to continue to talk about it. So that's the whole point of having the monitor. Now, I always knew that the monitor was there. I knew, always knew that the remote was there, but I never sort of <laughs> put two and two together that I could use the iPhone as a monitor when I'm doing my, my videos uh, for my channel. For me, the penny has dropped. Just a thought, if you're planning to use a Q2 as a vlogging camera uh, for your studio or for, for your videos, Maybe it's, a, it's an idea that will work for you. I think it's a good idea and it's going to work for me. Well, it is working for me, so I'll continue to use Q2. The temptation is to look down at the monitor. <laughs> so the alternative is just to have the monitor on a tripod and just basically have it next door to it, in which case you look at it sometimes too. But anyway. Okay, so now I'm recording with the Z6. I've got a 50mm f2 lens on that and I've got the Q2 operating here with the 1.7 28mm fixed lens on it as well. The Z6 is on automatic focus so it should be adjusting to whatever's going on and the uh, Q2 is on this um, spot focus, I guess it's manual focus now, but controlled by the monitor. So I've got the monitor working for the Q2 using Leica Photos. The Z6 has its own app called SnapBridge, but you can only operate one of these monitoring apps or photo apps per camera, per smartphone. So you can't be operating two at the same time. Okay, what I do know about the Z6 video is that the autofocus works really well, whereas the the autofocus on the Q2 is not the best, so by comparison. Uh, so that means I'm relying on the monitor and then changing the focus as I need with the Q2, which works really well. So if I've got a close-up here, now normally what I would do with the Z6 is, if I just put it there, it will find its own focus. And if I, um, with the Q2, it won't change the focus. I have to actually do that manually by pressing on the screen here and it changes the focus, which is very nice. And that way I can monitor 
whether I want myself in focus to be talking about the subject, which case here is the Leica M4. Get my fingers out of the way. And uh, I can be very specific with the focus. And that's great. So you here I just got the front of the lens, or I can go to the body of the camera and change the focus there, or back to me as well. The Z6 in, uh, is just focused on the, on the camera right now. If I drop my camera slightly like that, then the Z6 should be back on me, hopefully. And uh, right now I've got the focus of the Q2 on me as well. And I can come back to the lens if I'm specifically talking about the lens before I come back to myself. Yeah, I like this idea of the monitor. And having the two cameras, so depending on what I'm actually talking about, that works really well as well. All right, well, if you found this interesting, you like the idea of having a monitor, then do use these apps that are available for um, you know for most of the camera man major camera manufacturers uh, photos for Leica uh, Snapbridge for Nikon I do use both of those apps both Leica and Nikon to download photographs to my phone so I've got uh, in the case of Snapbridge it happens automatically in the case of photos you actually have to select the photos that you want to download but I haven't been using the remote control of those apps to control the camera and I think it's a good idea to use the remote control particularly if you're doing vlogs and you're photographing yourself as I am in this case here. I hope this has been useful. If you like the video then give it a thumbs up, really appreciate it. If it's the first time to my channel and you haven't already subscribed then do subscribe, press notifications, you'll be notified when the next video is out. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks. Cheers. Bye.